So it's, you know, 
whether it's whether you're a mathematician, whether you're a computer scientist, whether you're a physicist, whether you're a chemist, all of these things have similar types of, 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 of behavior. And, then, and think and deductive ways of thinking. And in addition, if you really like to think science, then the important thing about it is, 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 is that it's an exciting thing. Um, uh, have you had any astronomy in here? Have you guys learned, learned anything about, about the universe and the Big Bang and all that stuff? No? Uh, uh, How old was the universe? It's really, really old. Really, really old, yeah. Uh, Hundreds and hundreds of billions of years. Uh, I don't think so. 33? I said a couple billion. 3.3 point something billion years old. 3.3 point something. There you go. Wow. <laughs> 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 so, 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 how do we know this? Thanks. Really smart. Google. That sounds. How did we figure out that it's the universe? Is that? We actually went to space. Carbon dating. Carbon dating. No, no carbon. Anybody else? Yeah. Maybe the the universe still expanding. So if we know the speed that it's expanding, we can say when it started expanding. The first thing that happened is people recognize that all the stars, all the galaxies, not stars, all the galaxies are moving away from us, right? And why is that? Why are they moving away from us? And uh, realize that there must be some, this thing must be expanding in some way. And, uh, and then there's another thing. There's a second piece of evidence which, is, which has been mined over the years, and that is this big bang occurred, and everything exploded out in there. When it first happened, it was there was nothing but but uh, particles <coughs> called quarks, gluons. And they finally condensed down into protons and neutrons. And then what happened is the light that was being emitted in this big bang and the uh, and the uh, mass that was in the big bang separated. And we left we left with a background radiation of light left in the big bang. And this <coughs> And we can see it. We can go out and measure it. And, and we, know, we know everything about it. And, and it is very, very intensive evidence that the universe is some uh, billions of years old. And, uh, the, the sun, our solar system, is, is, um, is, uh, is uh, roughly that old, too. And that is a very interesting issue. But we don't really understand everything about this whole field. We don't understand uh, the, the fact that it's expanding too fast. Is it really? Pardon? Yeah, that's a question. Oh, oh, I was going to ask if it was true that the universe was contracting. I've heard, I've heard that after the Big Bang that it's been expanding, and that it's done expanding, and now it's getting closer. Well, this is, this is an interesting question. Um, the universe, Einstein has, has this theory of gravitation. He, uh, is the there is a parameter in the theory. If, if the parameter is less than one, then what happens is it, is it, is the universe expands and then contracts back. If it's exactly one, it just kind of expands and stops. But if it's greater than one, it just keeps going. And we believe that number is greater than one, and that the universe is going to keep on expanding. Why is this expanding too fast? That's the thing we don't understand. And the other thing we don't understand is, is, is our sun goes around the Milky, the Milky Way, so all the stars in the Milky Way, they go around too fast for just gravity to be around. And so they postulate that there must be some other matter besides the matter we can see. And we don't understand that.